Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, people have turned to an unlikely furry friend, chicks. And many have reached out to Zeeland, Michigan's Townline Poultry Farm as backyard flock enthusiasm increased during the quarantine. Our business really ramped up, I would say, the 1st of April compared to other years. We're, we're always busy in March. Once the COVID hit and the schools closed down, our phones just started ringing constantly. Personal online orders probably increased 400% this year. We were getting 50 to 100 orders a day from just individuals looking for chicks. Part of that was people would go to their local farm store, whether it was tractor supply or family farm and home, and generally there's always chicks there. Well, there was such a demand for chicks that those stores were sold out. So they started calling us directly. I, I can tell you that I had several customers on the phone that were very emotional, um, very grateful for what we were supplying them with. It felt like uh, giving them a sense of security in a time where nothing, we felt unsure of everything. So um, that was really rewarding, um, giving people some peace of mind during a tough time. Having been in business for over 100 years, the fourth generation family operation began in 1913 when small hatcheries dotted the West Michigan countryside. In fact, there were so many in the region, it was dubbed the Baby Chick Center of the Midwest. Townline is now the only hatchery left in Zealand. They have close to 40,000 hens that produce the eggs, which are incubated and hatched on site, before being mailed out to customers when they are a day old. While the poultry industry on a national scale has faced some issues utilizing the U.S. Postal Service to mail chicks to their customers, John Gearlings says that issue is no worse this year than in years past. I would say the post office does a generally good job. Every now and then things do get bottled up and it becomes a, uh, a chore to find out why that is. And it, it, it isn't sometimes our post office or, or Grand Rapids post office. It could be the post office in New York. Gearlings says their customers, many of whom were first timers this year, see a lot of benefits to having backyard chicks, from learning animal husbandry to knowing where their food comes from which is why of the 20 breeds offered at Townline, some breeds in particular saw an increase in demand throughout the first few months of the pandemic. We call them Jumbo Cornish Rock Cross. They're the meat birds. That's uh, the type of chicken that you would see in the grocery store. Uh, they're fast growing. They get nice juicy tender meat in a quick amount of time for processing. Sales definitely jumped on those, especially when it was starting to become noticeable that chicken wasn't as available in the grocery stores as it had been. That took a, us a couple of weeks to catch up with and you know, secure some more supply to meet that demand. The more people are at home, the more they are thinking about other ways that they can pass the time, make money, save money, make sure their family is going to be fed, things like that. Katie says the COVID-19 related surge in demand is bittersweet for their farm. Most of our customers, you know, they would ask us if we're still operating, how things are going, and we would explain to them how busy we were, and all of them congratulated us. You know, it was very, it was very sweet. It was almost like a, a piece of good news for them, you know, versus everybody being at home, not working. Um, and I, I kept, every time I would say to them, it, it is good, it's a good thing, and we're happy to, you know, be able to do this, but it's hard to celebrate the boost in sales when you know what's happening for the rest of everybody.